live stream. Where is the live dashboard? Why does this not show? Oh. Welcome everyone to this maybe amazing live stream. 30 frames per second. Let's see what happens here. So not from the office. I flew back so back from Germany. I flew to Germany. I have work to do. Damn all the fans in hyperventilation mode. <coughs> I have the feeling this live stream will fail again. First of all, <coughs> some not paid advertisement. Of course, flying is not good, but they totally don't like in previous times I was not flying that much and I will probably fly less, fly less because I can't really uh, um, can't really um, yeah not a, not a fan in, in global warming and and such um, can't really support this here however one shout out here you know for the security theater we need to throw the water away and liquids and stuff and then we need to buy overpriced water how is even our 30 frames per second? Um, so one maybe cool thing, so what I already mentioned in Canada probably, I totally am not a fan of this Nestle Pure Life bullshit because usually Nestle, one of the track records, not the most amazing track record. And uh, also they use all the local water and then people in Africa or villages in France don't have water and stuff like this, maybe you wanna Google this allegedly uh, anyway however this here so not not sure if this is true this share water stuff brought this in the plane at least to contribute a little bit back when i already my the flight pollutes so much so the share they allegedly donate here one day of water to someone i hope in africa or something so i've not yet googled this probably i should have but anyway maybe in the first world here developed nations maybe we should by the way totally not a fan of bottled water in berlin i never buy this i always drink tap water because tap water is amazing in germany anyway let's see um anyway so uh, extremely controversial and maybe i should not even live stream this and i live stream this not because i'm jealous or something just I made the mistake of opening the flight magazine there of Eurowings and not a paid advertisement for that either. Just what it is. And um, so I made the mistake and scrolled over this and I found there among other things I found this article about the allegedly Germany's most famous Coda here. Youngster um, st startup Sing. And this irritated me and also made me slightly sad. And uh, sad because so this is here some um, uh, so most famous female quarter. This is why this topic is certainly super controversial. Not even sure if I should post this here at all. This is also why we try this here on the secondary channel. 23 years, uh, amazingly young, um, beautiful. A woman here, uh, born in Iraq and uh, grown up in Germany, apparently, and they write here now the most famous programmer in um, in Germany. Like, what? <laughs> I've never even heard about this. Well, so this is of course not top-notch newspaper here. This in-flight magazine, but anyway, um, never heard about her and. I would make the same video. So the thing is, of course, maybe I should let my wife or previous female coders at Exacode uh, make this video to make this less controversial. But I have here three major things. So nothing against this per se. I wish her the greatest luck and success in life. But to me, this looks a little bit like shameless, over serious, shameless self-promotion. Um, because, um, so I've then Googled this here, some super stuff, nerds, and maybe this is why, by the way, what scene do I even stream here? Because we are running in high definition. So Aya Jaff or something like that pronounced. And one thing I always, I realized when I read this here, so here was nothing of substance. So. Okay, to give her credit where credit is due, at least she doesn't like it herself. 
allegedly here they write a German newspaper once called her Mrs. Code. How do you like this name? And uh, she says here, to be honest, not at all. Of course, very catchy and makes uh, headlines and opens a lot of doors, but I would never call that myself. I wonder how this... Uh, anyway, so yeah, at least she doesn't like that. But then what I really also didn't like is that then one thing was here that she um, disqualifies you a little bit um, sitting in a dark basement and doing your code, wherever that was. Uh, let's see, has your drop frames, maybe we live stream at least a little bit today. It's the IDPI. Um, here. Uh, why not? Um, maybe the English translation is slightly different. Um, anyway, I here in German it is... Um, so with 15 she developed a schedule there for the school, amazing stuff. With 19 she got a, st a stipendium for Silicon Valley, something. But so why does she not like this? Because it sounds like a nerd as if she's sitting the whole day in a dark basement in front of a PC and um, for this her life is too valuable and uh, she would rather enjoy life. Um, there is so much to take a look at or do sightseeing, something like that and the weather is so nice today and to sit at home in front of a PC and this makes me already feeling a little Irritated with the whole thing, um, not that you need to sit in your basement. This is also why I started here this YouTube channel to show you coding around the world. Uh, but to speak, this is a little bit of a double morale, always wanted to be inclusive and such. And then she speaks herself so negatively about sitting in a basement in front of your PC doing some coding. This is a little bit, yeah, and then, um, then first of all, and second of all, she also saw it here, um, her last project or something, so she is, um, where is it even, in English here somewhere, Anyway, slightly irritating here with the translation on the other column further away. Um, that a project uh, was some LEDs on shoes for Adidas or something like that, which is a little bit to say, yeah, nice project, but seriously, this is not the most um, here. Um, for Adidas, uh, nothing is a pet advertisement anyway. Um, she designed LED connected LEDs in the shoes connected to Google Maps so then that you walk around with your smartphone in front of your fa face you don't need to watch your Google Maps but your blinking shoes indicate you whether to go left or right and this is a little bit you don't want to sit in the basement and do coding but you want to look on your shoes because you can't look on the street names to go left or right, it's a little bit... Uh, I uh, googled this uh, a second ago, what was the name, Aya Jeff or something, and Aya... So I googled this and more and the results were mo not more amazing, unfortunately, and um, this really looks a little bit that she only recently started to learn programming, which I applaud, of course. Um, welcome to the community. The only thing is, the only grief here I have is that she has to do such kind of promotion and uh, such a kind of shameless self-promotion here. And again, when you Google here, you basically find not like GitHub, not like Linux kernel, not Firefox open office. Um, so, yeah, so much to that. And here is also, where was that? Um, so she now is a startup and uh, this was probably this. So you see there is not really so much going on and then she is doing consulting for companies 
And the thing is, um, oh, don't tell me this Firefox crashed now, probably, but I'm undervolting the CPU. That's probably what you get when you undervolt your CPU, I guess. No, it's already running. What? So much to live streaming from Apple stuff. Hmm. Yeah. Five year old Mac, not amazing. But there. Yeah, also amazing technology 2019. Oh, my. Okay, then that is that. Um, did I mention USB hiccup? Yeah, so that is um, USB disappeared because probably why not? Not enough bandwidth for the new device state. Mm. Okay, anyway, what did I wanted to say from this other website that was um, this other website where she I really should actually quote this. It's a pity that my USB. Anyway, you can open the website. So on this other website, in case we are still live, at least with this uh, disappeared root device. On this other website, she said she wanted to do an app in, yeah, like on Facebook, a couple of years ago, two, three years ago, she registered for some competition and won there something with some price with some thousand euro something and she wanted to do an app an iphone app um, i right now forgot what it was something and then she was surprised that the cost for developing the app was more than 400 euro and it was estimated more like 10,000 euro and then in this article it was relatively negatively said only because like one dude in nuremberg in germany can do it it cost 10,000 which I, again, the same repeating pattern of uh, disrespect of other human beings, uh, no matter the gender. And the fact is simply, it just costs so much money. If you develop an app that is more than just some demo application, you would develop this a month or two with support from the first sketch, if, if it's more than a blinking rectangle and, and such. And I want to see those people who make these claims. I want to see her. Does she? How long will she work now with this consulting for Adidas um, for 400 euro? Probably not even half of a day. And she wants a whole iPhone app and then criticizes that only one dude in Nuremberg can develop it. It's, it's really... Anyway, um, as an added anecdote recently one customer or big scanner company called us six months ago they have some inquiry of some other software vendor they need some help for scanner interfacing stuff and um, if they can pass my contact data and say yes of course why do you even ask I me mean, always pass my contact data to someone uh, and don't even need to ask for this but thanks that you called and nice to talk with you and everything amazing so a week later they called this other company and it's not even this one phone call when I said look I can't just like on a phone call for hours tell you all the details of how to do programming if I help you this needs to be some kind of commercial setup here some kind of consulting this and then it starts like who are you even I say excuse me I'm for 20 years known in the industry you can google my name why do you even call me and talk with me and are not even willing to have some consulting news? So basically they wanted free help. And then uh, fine, I explained, okay, fine, I've done this programming 20 years, this and that. And uh, there you see the double morale, right? Um, the double standard. Uh, some people always think everything falls from the sky and they get everything for free and they become famous overnight. And here we are, 20 years contributing to open source to the industry, contacts all over. And then people still are not willing to pay consulting and, and stuff. Then we had a conference call said, okay, fine, Google all the data, think if you need help, if you want to do. Then they came back, yeah, let's have another hour phone call with some developers that we get a better understanding how we can work together. Said, yeah, can we at least invoice some 
nominal fee of one hour consulting. Yeah, after, after this, after we have another thing. I said, okay, fine, we found another hour. So we found there, this was some nice phone call. I explained all the kind of details. We are in the twin organization. We are doing PDF, ISO PDF. Um, you can look all the open source details and stuff. And they sounded interesting. Everything was sonky dory, amazing stuff and so on. And we basically never heard again from them. So yeah, so two hours wasted of my time uh, telling people how amazing we are. And uh, yeah, but they are the most uh, amazing coders in Germany. And this is a little bit the disbalance I find in the industry. There are some people who are really um, promoted all over the place and the most amazing and the rest of us, yeah, we, we do open source all over the place and we should do it all for free and and stuff like this. So now that my root file system has gone away, I don't <laughs> no longer have the YouTube controller to end the live stream. <laughs> it is of course ridiculous. So I'm not making this stuff up. So um, this actually happened also somehow it never happened in the past and so maybe it's USB benefits related with the HDMI dongle because um, I was working on the plane on this aging by the way this is the crotch cam this is the uh, MacBook right now um, this didn't happen on the plane it didn't happen when I was coding here which I by the way still did open <coughs> But yeah, I hope you learned something. Leave me in the comments. Am I overreacting? Am I somehow too sensitive? Am I just too stupid to sell myself properly to earn really good money to... I mean, how do other people do this when, when people call and immediately invoice something? I, I don't know. Am I, it's, it's, uh, am I overreacting with such kind of... Well, it's not like a triple A newspaper. It's some flight magazine, but you see there also the T3N something magazine. And uh, she is no speaker, keynote speaker. Um, and um, by the way, if she just uh, in this other article, she also said she just some years ago, one, two, three years ago or something, she when she got into coding, um, she followed some, she couldn't believe that in one hour you could click together your own Airbnb website with some tutorial on the internet somewhere on, on Skillshare whatsoever something. Apparently, actually, I'm surprised myself in one hour, but maybe with modern web frameworks that's possible, I don't know. Um, of course, that is not to say you have an Airbnb website, of course, to have a website that can serve millions of people something else and having, even if it's possible in one hour, of course, it's not scalable and production quality anyway, but leave me all the details in the comments. What do you think about this? Am I overreacting? Um, is this, um, yeah, what is your take on this? And uh, by the way, if if it sounds from the article, of course, I don't know her, maybe I should give her her call and see how much she would invoice, just for the fun of it. Um, as she is apparently hanging around in Berlin, not that I've, oh, my battery is also going down. Maybe I should charge the battery more often. So yeah, um, maybe I should meet her and take a, in-depth talk there and YouTube maybe we can uh, by the way I'm this is not an insult I applaud your efforts and it's amazing it's just that it feels a little bit oversold and um, when someone I have it hard to believe that she is the German's best coder in two or three years time okay until she's 15 with a but it sounded like she has just this Airbnb website thing years ago so anyway it does not sound like also the Adidas stuff, so it's maybe more like maybe those people shouldn't be called coders, but like designers, then I would certainly have way less of a problem, by the way, I should have switched the camera. This is why when we don't have our amazing sound keyboard, forget to switch the scenes. Anyway, cameras blinking, my root system <laughs> has disappeared. And um, yeah, is this a state of programming? Am I overreacting? What are you thinking? I'm really interested. And um, Hope to see you soon for the next videos to come. And also leave me in the comments below. Should I do more traveling? The problem is I could have edited a video of this flight and, and this maybe amazing water donation thing and sharing thing and stuff. But I didn't even feel like Casey Knight's did filming the flight and I was at stress and coding and, and stuff. And then um, they have to give a shout out to Casey Knight's did and people like June Olsen and bloggers like this, or vloggers like this, this is actually
quite stressful work because then I actually don't get code work done if I film in the flight. So yeah, see you soon for all the next stuff to come.